What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. If you can believe it or not, I've never been to Lidl um, or Little, however you pronounce it. I've never been there. And their website says that they have $1.63 butter on sale. So we're going to go there for the very first time. I want to take you along with me for those who have never been to Lidl. And we're going to do a little grocery shopping. And then we might do a haul, right? So join me. Let's go on my first trip to Lidl. So I don't know how you pronounce Lidl or Little. I've heard it pronounced both ways. So however you pronounce it, you know, that's fine with me. All I know is this, their website says they have butter for $1.63 a pound. And I think we're going to go hit it up, see if we can get some butter at that price and see what else we can get, right? Um, <laughs> we're on a little adventure today. I've got a whole bunch of uh, stops to make and I'll let you know it, let you in on a secret that um, I, we will be doing here in a minute. <laughs> A new stand mixer, right? Um, so let's go get in the car and let's head out to Lidl. Let's go. It's beautiful out today. Okay. We're at the Lidl. It's raining a little bit, so. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Some grapes. Great. We have to see what's going on over here. Pretzel rolls. Birthday glass. Oh no. The produce aisle. Fresh baked baguettes. Ooh, you're warm. Whoa. We got pie. Apple crumb. Strawberry. Avocados. Oh, really right. You have to have the Lidl app. Save price, but it's $239, otherwise, then it comes off. Let's see what kind of breads and stuff there. We got bread, fresh waffles, <laughs> Belgian sugar waffles. Mm. Hi, 15. What is that? Imported from Belgium. Those are real Belgium. These are real bells and waffles. Mm. They contain milk. Mm. Weed flour sugar shortening. Eric wants a sponge cake. Two forty nine. You want chocolate or strawberry? Oh, I don't know. Their choices. A chocolate and a strawberry. I think the chocolate's good enough. Stuffed chocolate muffins. Cookies. Raspberry tarts. Eggs. Ooh. Those are cool. Roma tomatoes for $1.49. Honey glow. Pineapple. Oh, those are great food. Strawberry, apricot, four fruit spread. This is tart cherry. This might be tasty. You can try that. Tart made with 50% fruit. Wasn't made with more fruit. It's <laughs> sugar. It's sugar. $2.99 
$2.99 for three. I'll probably get them at Sam's Club. No, look at this. Sweet lawns. Sweets. Asparagus. Yeah. Um, those are huge. Oh, those aren't good. Oh, produce striking out. Oh, I'm going to try their tea. They have some hams. Lamb. Beef. Let's look at the chicken. They seem to have more regular brands here than Alvy does. Chicken breast, two thirty-nine. All right, we got some meat here. We got organic ribeye for nine ninety-nine, or regular for two and a half dollars cheaper. Got some other meat, black Angus, yay. Got some lamb, thirteen bucks for something. Some black Angus, I don't know, what's that? Top sirloin, yeehaw. Got some chubs up here. 13 for 80% lean. Looks like it's a couple pounds, three pounds, woohoo. A little bit more for a, a bigger one. 80 ounces of a, the 16.99 stuff. Otherwise, we got patties. They're pretty formed to cost money. We got these little things down here that cost money, 3.29 for the 73% lean. That's cheap. Got some corned beef down there. It's April. That could come in handy, right? Ooh, got a corned beef brisket. Hmm. Now we're into pork. Pork's a little cheaper. Pork chops, yay. Pork tenderloins looking kind of tasty. This one's also marinated on sale. If you got the My Lidl app right, I downloaded mine. Are you gonna get yours? For those that like breakfast sausages, this is maple flavored for 275 pound. No, that's actually 275 period. Ooh. Got some more breakfast cereal or breakfast sausage. Got some uh, Johnsonville down there, Yeehaw. Got some brats, ooh, 587. Got some uh, other flavors. We got this Primo. So of course, if we go to our club store, we might be able to beat these prices, or will we? Because we know these prices are pretty competitive. Got that for some more Italian sauces. So we got a lot of sausages in here. Got some chicken wings. It's like we got some uh, chicken breasts. Three ninety-seven a pound for boneless, skinless. Purdue. It's not. They call it a value pack, but I don't know if that's really a value. Got some whole chickens for $4.49 a pound. Organic. Got some non-organic stuff up here. Thin slice, always gonna cost you more, right? Because they did the cutting for you. If you do it yourself, you save. That stuff's a little cheap. This is some chicken wings. Got some thighs. For $4.79 a pound. Got some thighs. 239 down here. Oh, those are tenderloins up there. That's why they're so expensive. These are just regular thighs for 239. Now we got some cheaper stuff with the app. This whole young for a buck twenty-nine. So you got the organic farmer focus that costs basically three times as much per pound. 
for the non slash regular stuff. Chicken thighs, buck 19. And of course, some more thighs. This stuff's a buck 79. I don't know what the difference is. They're both got bone on skin on. So I don't know. Oh, those are late quarters. I guess when they misplace that, see those are leg quarters, right? You get more, you get the whole leg, right? Thighs and leg. And it's cheaper per pound. But yet when you get just the thighs, it's more expensive. I don't know, I like leg quarters, so they're on the grill, they're groovy. And of course, the drumsticks get in here. Always cost more, right? Because that's what we want. All right, we got some orange juice, two for four dollars. Uh, they don't say you need the app. Sometimes you need the app for the savings. I'm looking at butter. They had a price savings, we thought, of like a buck sixty-seven. But yeah, all they got here is Lando Lakes, basically four bucks a pound. That's crazy. They want even more. Five. Five seventy-eight if you don't have the app. That's crazy. So I don't know. I got a broccoli uh, quiche. That might be interesting. Got some cream cheese. And so I have to talk to Amy, find out if she was able to find this mystery discount butter, because I think that's tragedy. We come all the way out here and we're not getting our savings. Might have to go to another store. Hmm, that's blasphemy right there. We've got Thick cut hardwood bacon for $3.99. So we have more stuff here. Back to the bacon here, two for six dollars. I mean, if you can find your local farmer, you might be able to get a big savings. But these guys do have decent prices compared to normal supermarkets. I'll say that for sure. It's always tasty. Pecan or pecan smoked sausage, $4.49. I really hope Amy got some. That's garlic right there, pork and beef. And here's some Polish kielbasa. She doesn't really get that stuff. Home Smokehouse. I think I've seen that in normal uh, supermarkets. I think uh, Food Lion's got that stuff. $2.99 seems pretty cheap. And we'll just mosey on by the lunch meat section, right? It's too exciting. $5.56 for some uncured ham. 529 for some uncured ham over here with some um, honey roasted breast stuff in the middle. Um, they just got all kinds of good stuff over here. Yeehaw. I don't know. I think I might grab me one of these. This is a pepperoni salami for a $4.99. I'm a sucker. I just love salami. Oops. I'm gonna grab this other one too while I'm at it. So here we got a, a regular salami for $4.45. I don't know, it just seems kind of expensive, but it always is, right? Got all kinds of cheese, shredded. Better just get a whole block, two pounds or more, save your money, and then shred it yourself. But it's more convenient to use your sawdust. But $3.79 for a pound. Yeah, if it's under if it's under four bucks a pound, then you beat my food lion, but not my much. But if I go to a big box, I can usually get it cheaper, or I get some fancy aged New York stuff that's way cheaper. But yeah, got some provolone up there. Two forty nine is pretty good, but once again, it's eight ounces, so it translates out to five bucks a pound. It's kind of expensive. Parmesan, so that's fresh Parmesan. And yes, that does beat my food line. Don't know if it beats Walmart though, could. 70, 774, some mozzarella sliced logs. So fresh mozzarella can be very tasty. And here they pre-slice it for half the price, right? No, they just give you half the amount. That was a pound over there. This is only half a pound. So, and here is some sour cream for two forty-eight. Some cottage cheese. 
I don't know. I mean, low fat for watching calories is always good, but I just like the flavor of whole milk um, cottage cheese. Plus, I found out if you look at the ingredients, sometimes whole milk has less ca uh, less uh, ingredients. Where maybe to make it low fat, sometimes they have to add ingredients. So here we are, back to Lando Lakes butter. Don't know why we're having to see more butter here. Imperial. Is that like margin or some? I haven't seen that in years. Now we get into some crazy butter, spreadable butter. I don't know, spreadable butter means it's mixed with something like oil. Salt to sweet cream. Okay, here we are. No, here's some yogurt, Greek yogurt. But I'm looking at this thing here. 237 for an empty thing. It's got some friends back there. Don't know if Amy hit this up. I don't see any regular, just regular for the heck of it. Yogurt. All right, we're in the booze area here. Just got some wine. The heck is this? Maple Macalac Fudge Judge. I can't read it. I need some rain glasses. But it's Barrel H Series of Founders, KBS. Not sure who that is, what that is, but I don't know. $23.99 for a four pack? It says Maple Mackinac. Mackinac fudge. That's their flavor. Interesting. So, oh, just a second here. Come back. Get there. So, Boo is picking up. Did you get this from the uh, crud aisle that has all kinds of things? Do I really want this? It's $20. I don't know. Do I want this? It's maybe $10. You know I want that. So, oh, let's see. Amy's been busy here. This might be part of a haul. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this, but it's at a dollar sixty-three. Dollar sixty-three with the app. In here, it's like two thirty-seven. Right. So if I get the app, which we have, get that price. We don't know, but apparently you you uh, we have a we have a QR code that you got to scan, and if you scan the QR code, you get the sale prices. This looks like just a regular yogurt. So we just discussed all the Greek yogurt they got. They do have regular yogurt. It seems, I'm guessing, cheaper. Ten forty-nine. It's funny. The Ultra Strong looks a lot like a Brawny or Bounty. It's got like similar colors, I think. Now we're in the frozen food section. Butter chicken with basmati rice for four ninety-nine. That's flavorful. They got some masala, Bombay something. Bombay Chef or Chef Bombay. I mean, if they got some Indian food, that's groovy. So we got some egg rolls. So that's groovy. Luisa toasted raviolis. I don't know what this stuff is. Some honey chicken. I don't know. That might be tasty. Okay, lasagna, you know my heart is on, I love lasagna. That meat lasagna, hmm. I don't know, I like Stouffer's. This brand, this Lidl brand. Come over here. The Stouffer's is on sale for 10 dollars so it's like three and a half bucks off. This other stuff is eight. 29. Just doesn't look exciting. But you look at the Stouffer's with meat and sauce, to me that looks like heaven. Chicken pot pies. I mean, a lot of stuff usually has milk or cream in it, so Amy has a food allergy, so she can't eat this stuff. Clean cuisine, yay, right? Stores just charge an arm and a leg for this stuff. Classic cheese enchiladas. All right, black bean and cheese burritos. There's the classic. Yeah, that stuff's all good. Poblano chicken. Ah, you can see me in the background. Hi, with my rabbit ears. 
taquitos. There's a lot of stuff that basically you see at a regular store. See, that's something we don't really see at uh, Aldi's is as much of the name brand stuff. Got some Jimmy Dean. But then we do get some stuff called Swaggerty's. Not sure what that is. Got some Texas Toast. Got some buttermilk. Pancakes for two bucks. $9.95 for some eight count of biscuit, sausage, and cheese by Lidl. So they got their own brand. And basically, we got some Smuckers. We got Lug Lego My Egos. We're starting to get into ice cream heaven here. Got some Bon Gelate. Got some so delicious dairy free dipped. But they got chocolate. They just got different stuff in here. Um, some more whipped cream, got a cheesecake. Cheesecake for $14. I'd have to see if I can beat that at a big box store. Because uh, that could be very bad for your health, but very good for your taste buds. This is basically um, some frozen uh, vegetables and stuff. You know, you got asparagus and stuff and broccoli and some stuff with cheese, corn down here. You got some other stuff. Uh, they haven't like come after me personally, but I know they're gonna threaten pretty soon. All right, we got some frozen stuff up there. Triple berry, some strawberries. Okay. So we got past the processed chicken. I don't know, I think it was some seafood. Got some more pizza looking stuff. Got some fancy turkey burgers. Bubba with their snack bites and some sausage stuff. Oh, seems like they have a lot more variety. Of course, it, to me, it seems like the store's a lot bigger than what Aldi has been. Got Miss Miss.